I had an idea after watching DistroTube's uh, open chat the other day, and they were talking about having an Ubuntu install with the Unity desktop with no other fallbacks. So I thought to myself, you know what, I could probably script that. So uh, I wrote, I wrote it, uh, tested it out with Ubuntu Server 18.04 and 18.10. Uh, 1810 is actually installing right now. So, uh, anyway, I'm going to show you what I've got, what I've wrote, and I'll kind of walk you through an install real quick. So, here we go. So, I started out by going to Ubuntu.com and clicking on the alternative downloads, coming down here and getting Ubuntu 1810 server or Ubuntu 1804.1 server. So you can download either one of those. This script that I wrote will work with either one. And I have put my little script up over here on Ubuntu Unity and stuff on my GitHub page, you know, github.com slash Linux Dabbler. Ubuntu Unity install. And it's pretty simple. I mean, I got a little readme here. And so all it, all it does, it just scripts out saying make sure that the, that the main repository the restricted universe and multiverse repositories are uh, are added and enabled it runs updates it runs an upgrade it installs the light dm gtk greeter and the gtk greeter settings for light dm i like that i like that greeter a little better than gdm it's a little it's lighter weight and it's i like the layout better so change it if you want to but that's what I like. So after that, sudo apt install Ubuntu Unity desktop. And then once that's done, sudo systemctl enable light dm. Now once you once you run that sudo apt install Unity desktop part, go get you a cup of coffee. <laughs> it's going to be a minute. Um, I ran that. It took probably about 30 minutes or so just but then again, it was running in a VM. I don't have really fast internet, and it had two cores and uh, four gigs of RAM. So, I mean, it took a while, but it worked. So, anyway, uh, on to VirtualBox. Let's get rid of that. Come back to here. Now, this is Ubuntu 18.10 uh, server. I just named it Unity. And... So we're just going to go to settings. It's, these are these are my general VirtualBox settings, by the way. Let's go to system. It's got four gigs. It's got four gigs of RAM. I'll give it two CPU cores. Display memory. Max it out. Enable 3D acceleration storage. And click this. And I just clicked Ubuntu 18.10 live server. And the rest of it should be okay. Then once then once you get there. Just press start and it'll, it should boot up off of a live image from the ISO that you just attached to it. So, this is the one that was actually installing. And that just finished up. Uh, tell you what, I'm going to go back and run that the way it's supposed to be. You know, that way, nothing can be said that this would have, oh, it worked for him, but it didn't work for me. So, I'll be back in a second. All right, just make sure everything worked. Uh, this is how you install it. So I just named it Ubuntu 18.10 Server Unity. So start normally. It's gonna pop up here or make that full screen. Or not, it's not gonna take the whole screen. Or maybe it won't. Okay, this is a super simple install. I know it may, it may look intimidating, but it's super simple. English, enter. Keyboard layout for me, English, yes, enter. Apply in the config, install Ubuntu. It detected my Ethernet. I'm not using a proxy, enter. That's fine for a mirror address, enter. 
use the entire disk. That's what I assigned it. Done. And continue. Now my name, we're going to call this call this unity VM I know because I'm so creative and username Linux dabbler always remember to make a secure password alright so I'm not going to add any of this stuff to it because this is going to be a desktop and we're going to install everything we want anyway so done and that's really about it just kind of sit back relax and wait for it to finish so i'm going to pause it here and yeah we're going to see how it goes all right that didn't take near as long as i thought it would uh i actually got one sip of coffee and it was done so same screen just says reboot now reboot now Remove installation media, it's VM, so just hit enter. And it's going to take you a minute, but it's, it boots up fairly quickly. Alright, new to VM log login, so. What's this thing? This thing makes me angry. Finally, Unity VM login. Here we go. No, I'm not sure why it popped up text while I was trying to type in my username, but anyway, we're in. So now. We're just going to do sudo apt install git. All right, so that's okay. It's already there. So git clone https colon slash slash github.com slash linux dabbler slash Ubuntu. Make sure I got my address right here. Ubuntu Unity install. Ubuntu Unity install. Doesn't take long. So there's our Ubuntu Unity install folder. So we're going to cd into that. List of contents, there's the readme, there's the uh, shell script, so we're going to make this script, ex we're going to make this little script executable. So, sudo change mod, or change mode, add the x flag to Ubuntu Unity install.sh. Now, see the color change, that means that it, that it did take and it is executable. So, to run the script, dot slash Ubuntu Unity installed SSH. This is probably going to take a little while, so it just made sure all the repositories were enabled. Now it's running an update and we're running an upgrade. So it, it depending on your on your internet connection, it could take longer than me, but my internet's not that fast. So, anyway, we're going to pause the video again until this is done, and I'll kind of show you what we got going on after that. Alright, the script just finished up. We're going to see how it, how, how it reboots now. So, everything ended without an error, it looks like. So, we're going to do, let me get back into my VM again sudo reboot and 
we're going to go ahead and make this full screen. All right, so it's rebooting now. Uh, going through its little checklist here. And there we go. This is the Light, Light DM uh, GTK rear that we installed. So I'm going to log in. And we are in. It just it's going to pop up. Here we go. There's our side panel here. So, keyboard shortcuts are going to give us, let's see, there's our, there's our little menu here, uh, Nautilus File Manager, uh, Firefox, LibreOffice, uh, Settings. So, this has, so we, we were able to do it. There was no other fallback. i tell you what, let me log out and prove that real quick. Let's see, log out. All right, so if we go up here, that's all we have is Unity. So this was off of eight, uh, Ubuntu 18.10 server. All we did was make sure that the repos were uh, added and enabled. We installed a uh, a greeter, you know, and we installed the, Ub the Ubuntu Unity desktop. So it's a pretty simple process. It just it just takes a little while. So, you know, I'm going to I'm going to log back in and kind of play around with it. So, now this is not exactly you know, not officially supported through Canonical or anything like that. So, you know, this is kind of, you know, just a community maintained thing, I believe now. So, I mean, I may be wrong. So, but that is that is how you get the Unity desktop installed it's a fairly easy process so I'm gonna kind of play around and see what and see see how they see how it runs and I may update this video I'm not sure so anyway y'all have a nice day